Hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts, and welcome to another edition of Spindle Talk. Today, we're going to talk about this beautiful supported spindle and bowl from the store Yarn Spindles on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is a fang style spindle, um, dyed and made from sugar maple, I believe, and it's tipped with brass, which makes it spin very fast on the bowl that I've chosen. And I'll show you the bowl is, has a stone surface, it's called Corian, and it's a beautifully dyed maple, maple as well, and turned, it's got a nice texture to it. Um, and in the picture, I almost thought it looked like um, cherry, uh, Japanese cherry. Um, but it's sort of just a random red and pink pattern, which I really do like. It's really pretty, and it's stripes here on the surface coming up to the bowl. And this bowl surface is really perfect for spinning any kind of, um, any kind of spindle tip, but I like the fact that it'll hold up to the metal tips, um, especially if they're a little more pointy like this one. Um, I also would have no hesitation using my uh, tacklies on this as well. So, now I'm going to show you these together in action. And for that, I've chosen this really beautiful pink and yellow merino dyed by Little Texas Yarns. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little portion of it and, and uh, get it started wrapping on the spindle, if I can, on the tip. This is always the most awkward part. I don't know how people just like wrap and go with the supported spindles. It's always a little bit tricky for me. And I'm going to spin a bit and then pull a bit more fiber out and then let it go. <laughs> always awkward. Ha ha. All right, there we go. There's a nice start. I'll just wind it on near the tip here because I don't have much of a uh, leader yet. And just pull a little bit from the, from the fiber supply and spin a little bit. I usually hold it still while I'm, while I'm uh, drafting and I'll pull until I feel like there's not enough twist left to, uh, to hold and then I'll give it more. And when I'm ready to wind on, I'll just give it a little bit of extra for uh, good measure and uh, wind it on. But now that I've got this nice mount here, I can actually start winding closer down. I like to wind in this little... Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, cameraman. Also, another thing, I'm really, really clumsy <laughs> sometimes. You would not believe how many times my spindles go flying. Okay, as I was saying, I like to wind in this little dished out area here. <laughs> and so I'll just start, start the cop there. And a cop, if, in case you didn't know, a cop is basically just the ball of yarn on a spindle. So if I say cop, I mean this. You know, it's where you wind wind the spindle on, spindle storage. So, and then I'll leave enough to start again. There we go. Oh, let's see. Ah, my merino's a little bit sticky from being in storage for so long. There we go. And as you can see, it doesn't take much. This is actually a really light spindle, and it doesn't take much to get it spinning. Yes, Mr. Churchill? Okay. Our mascot hears something. He will stop soon, hopefully. Mister, we're talking about spindles. Are you done? Okay. Back to the spindle. Um, the only um, quibble I have about this beautiful bowl, and you may have noticed while I was spinning, I took the spindle off the bowl and put it on my leg to wind on the cop. Um, since this bowl is a, such a shallow dish, um, if I tilt the spindle, it'll skate right off. 
So that's the only quibble I have. Um, otherwise, it spins beautifully. I've tested this bowl with multiple other spindles and I really like how it works. Um, so, and this spindle I love to use. Um, I recently tried it with some carded Corridale and a bat and I just find it really fun. If you're getting into supported spindles, this on sale, this was really not a bad price and it's a good spinning spindle. So, I definitely recommend checking out yarn spindles and checking out the uh, Fang style spindle if you're looking for something a little different for your collection. This is one of the few sellers that I've seen that actually sell this style of supported spindle. And um, what makes it a Fang style spindle is this shape. It's more of a bulb shape um, on the whorl here and then it comes up to a long tip. There are some other spindle makers that have made this kind of spindle, but there aren't very many. Um, so, and it spins really well. It's similar to a Russian spindle, but not quite. So, I hope you enjoyed this spindle talk. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of this beautiful spindle from Yarn Spindles? Um, and Bolt. <laughs> I bought them as a pair. This is actually the last spindle set that I got while we were back in Alabama. So it's sort of special. So moving spindle, I guess. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more if you're not already. And stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a great day.